Hey all, uh, it's been a while, uh, been a busy break, I've been uh, toying around with some server stuff, so I figured I'd post a video to help myself as well as other people uh, remember and learn how to open up a server that they may have currently uh, up to the public and enable it to be accessed remotely via the web or uh, SSH, FTP, etc. Um, in terms of actually setting up a server, I'll probably do a series on that later. That's a little more in depth. But uh, to start out, uh, if you already have a server uh, on your network and you want to open that up to access remotely, uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to do that. First, we want to go to our router configuration, which is usually at uh, this IP address, uh, 192.168.0.1. And you know, depending on your ISP and your router, you'll have a different splash screen. Uh, but what we want to go to is advanced setup in this case. Um, and then what you want to look at first is your DHCP settings. And just make note of the highest possible uh, DHCP address uh, because we're going to use that for our server just so that it doesn't get in the muck of all the other devices that may be added to your network. So then what we're going to do is go to DHCP reservation. Your server may or may not already be on here, but chances are it's not at your maximum address of 254. Uh, I've already set mine to that um, right there, um, but if it's already on here and uh, what you need to do is just remove it, maybe take a note of what the MAC address is, um, and then you're going to manually enter your MAC address or select it from a drop down and then select that IP and make it uh, .254 the maximum. Uh, just for your reference, if, you're, uh, if you don't know what your MAC address is and your my server is running Ubuntu, the command that you do to go ahead and get that is just uh, if config, I'm just going to type this here so you can see it. this would be in your terminal, and then uh, you just pipe that into grep, and then it's hardware address. Um, H and then it's going to look like that, capital H-W-A-D-D-R, with a grep in front of it. I just, apparently this limits my characters, but that's what it would look like. And that's how you find your MAC address in case you didn't know that already. And then you assign 254 to that. So now we have a local uh, IP address for our server of 192.168.0.254. And now there's only a few other things we need to do for this. First of all, you want to turn on your firewall. Uh, I put the settings on low, uh, that way we can access this for, uh, via pretty much uh, anything. It's a good idea, but if you want to be more stringent about that, you can go ahead and change that. Um, make sure that your router's firewall is on, because what we're going to do is port forwarding. Um, now what we do for that is, um, based upon what services you want, uh, to be able to access remotely, you forward those ports. Uh, the, for the ports that I have forwarded right now are um, 21, 25, 80, 22, 110, 143. You can usually check those under firewall to see what they are and which ones you want to have enabled. Um, so for example, for me, uh, SSH is a big thing. FTP uh, is 21, SSH is 22. Uh, being able to access the web, uh, just your website in general, uh, that's uh, port 80, um, etc. So, uh, depending on uh, what you want, MySQL database uh, 1433. Uh, so, that's kind of important if you're planning on using databases. So, from there, what you'll do is you'll just say your starting port, ending port, each one it's going to be the same thing. So, if I wanted to add, say, port 1500, uh, whatever that is, if it even exists here, I'd just do 1500, 1500. And then the I'd address that we assign to our server, which is always going to be 192.168.0.254. And then we'd apply, and you apply that for all the ports um, that you want uh, from there. Uh, that's about it for that. Uh, then if you want, this should enable you to, uh, assuming you have port 80 uh, forwarded, this should enable you to be able to visit your page from uh, a remote location and access it from a lo remote location via your IP. To see what your IP is right now, just say, uh, just Google what is my IP, um, and it'll tell you what your IP address is, your public IP address. Um, 
And then what you would do is you just, uh, from remote location, you would just type in 70.59.38.25, and what that'll do is it'll pop you right to there, and it should show up whatever you have under your www folder for port 80. Um, and that's about it. Uh, one thing to note, though, is you, most people have a dynamic IP, so this will change over time. So I would recommend uh, installing a client on your server, such as noip.com. Uh, that'll get you a free uh, domain name that uh, will then allow will take care of that IP changing so that you can access it remotely via your uh, domain name rather than this changing public IP which uh, may not be what it was yesterday uh, that can pose problems so look into that as well um, other than that I hope this uh, made it a little more clear as to uh, what this is again um, your local uh, address to your server that you can use from your home to SSH into as well as uh, on your router right here is here. Um, and then when you want to access it remotely, you're going to use your public IP. And it will forward the ports that you specified to that specified um, uh, node on your network, in this case our server. Hope this helps and I'll post some more videos soon. Uh, have a great one.